What's up everyone, Chris Record here, hanging out with Lawrence Aponte. And we wanna to talk to you about an e-commerce system that we're putting together where we can teach you how to set up your own e-commerce website. You can actually feature products on it that you don't even own, somebody else owns the products. And all you do is you run tiny little $5 Facebook ads to these products. You mark them up so you can get products for like $2, mark them up to $10, and you split the difference. So in today's video, we're gonna walk you through this entire process for free and you'll notice that there's a link below this video. The link below this video is your opportunity to join our community, be able to join and get ongoing trainings, get access to a bunch of people in the community, and actually learn from people like Lawrence. Because Lawrence, just three years ago, was working for $7 an hour at his job, and now three years later has done over $700,000 with e-commerce. And so what we're gonna do, in today's video is we're gonna break down Lawrence's story. I'm gonna interview Lawrence. We're actually gonna look at some of his stores, look at some of his products. We're actually gonna use the whiteboard and we're gonna draw out the two different types of offers that we're promoting right now that are making money online. And hopefully, we inspire you to set up your own store and take massive action and join our community. This will eventually be a course that will probably sell for, I don't know, 500 or thousand dollars. But for a limited time, if you join us right now, you can actually be part of it for free. All you gotta do is click the link below this video, join for free, lock up your spot, and in exchange, we would love your case study. When your store starts making money, when you start selling products, we'd love your testimonial so we can grow together. So with that being said, let's jump into the interview. All right, so let's dive into this, Lawrence. Now, a lot of people have already heard your story, seen you on videos and stuff like that, and it's crazy, right, to go from $7 an hour to over $700,000 online in literally less than three years. So um, $7 an hour, let's talk about that. What kind of job were you working for $7 an hour just a few years ago? Yeah, so my official job title was Oyster Shucker. I basically shucked oysters and put them inside of a box. Really? So what's crazy is that you were telling me that like not only were you shucking oysters, but that you were allergic to shellfish at the same exact time. How did that work? How could you do that? Yeah, basically it was the only job I could find. And yeah, I'm allergic to shellfish. So I get these highs breaking out and it just be horrible, itchy and, and sweaty, you know. Dude, that's crazy. I mean, every single time you tell that story, it's like it really just puts it in perspective. Here you are a few years later doing hundreds of thousands of dollars and yet a few years earlier just struggling trying to make ends meet. So you eventually came across online advertising, Facebook advertising, and you learned about e-com, learned about e-commerce. And so you went on to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Was this all with one big store or was this with multiple stores? How did that work? Yeah, this is actually with, with several different stores. Once we got the process dialed in on the first one, then we actually just replicated it and did it again uh, three other times. Got it, got it. So you have multiple stores doing this. Now, these stores, these stores sell products. These are e-commerce, but are these products like in your garage at home? Are you doing the shipping? I mean, when you first got started, like how did you get a store full of products? Yeah, so the model that I use is called drop shipping. Basically, the supplier supplies you with pictures of their products that they have on hand, and you put them on your website and you sell it to the masses. Got it, so you don't even have to have any inventory if you don't want? No inventory. And who does the shipping? Do you do the, the shipping? The supplier actually does the shipping for you. Really, so all you have to do is put the pictures on your website and then drive traffic to sell them and you make money. Yeah, and you make the, the, the profit on whatever you sell it. The profit, so let's talk about that. So um, how much profit is there on a product? Like, what, give me an example, the hypothetical example. Like how much do you get a product for and how much product do you, profit do you make on it? Yeah, so it kind of depends the business model that we're using at the time. I use two different offers that I mainly do. One is called free plus shipping, where you literally give a product away for free and charge like a premium shipping price. And then the other one is retail. So I could get products from literally like one or two dollars and sell them for 10 or 20 or just give it away at a premium shipping price. Yeah, and this is not new. I mean, people have been doing this forever. When you go to a retail store, they're usually buying products from a wholesaler. Exactly. Right, and then they're just marking them up and putting them in their store because it's convenient. You're there at the store, they're offering a convenience to give you the product. And that's kind of what you're doing, it's convenient. You're advertising to them in the Facebook newsfeed. Right. Boom, they're seeing a product, they're like, that would be great for myself or as a gift. They buy it and then you're just literally marking up a wholesale cost. Yeah, that's it. You're literally just making, a, like if you buy a product for $1, sell it for 10, there's a $9 profit margin there. Crazy, just, I love how this is an actual system that new people can follow and can start making money. So the core of this system is the $5 a day Facebook ads. That's the absolute core. So people ask me all the time, can you really start with just $5 a day? I mean, that's like the cup of coffee cost that they're already buying, right? So for the price of a cup of coffee per day, you could be running traffic to your own e-commerce store and making profit. So in your experience, did you start with this $5 a day system and does it really work? Yeah, yeah, so the, the system works 100%. I literally started 
placing like these little $5 ads on Facebook, right, to get to my targeted audience. And it, it's, it's based on what you can afford and, and the risk. So I start with $5, we made 20. Took that little profit and did it again the next day and again and again. That's crazy, so you could literally start, test out the model with ads that if you lose five bucks, it's not gonna like hurt you, it's in, in the, not in a major way, right? So you can experiment a little bit and find that ad that works and when it works, you just scale up. And so I know you actually started with a $5 day ad. I mean, I remember you telling me that like every single day you've been tracking all of your ads. I know you've got your own system you do it with, but you've been tracking all your ads. So you really started with $5 and just scaled that up to hundreds of thousands of dollars? Yeah, it's literally, I can actually show you. I have my notebook where I kind of break down where I spend for ads, how much my merchandise costs and how much I made. Yeah, man, I'd love to see it. Let's grab the book and let's walk through it. All right, cool, I'll go grab it. I've been getting money, I've been getting no. All right, so this is crazy. So a $5 a day ad system, you generated over 7,000 in profit your first month and then $28,000 in profit your second month. And Lawrence, you gotta be the only guy I know doing this old school bookkeeping system with paper. Like, does everybody else have to do this bookkeeping system? Why do you do this one? No, man, me personally, I just kinda like to write it out myself and kinda see it on paper. But um, I actually have it on digital form too and if you want, we can actually jump in on my laptop and I can break it down for Dude, you a bit more. you know me, man, I'd love to. Let's do it right now. Let's do it. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the Shopify stats, but let's also take a look at, as long as you're willing to share the actual product that you got, let's take a look at where you got it from, what the product page, I mean, as much as you're willing to share, I just wanna serve value to everybody if you wanna dive into it. Man, let's, let's dive into it. Let's do it. All right, so first of all, Lawrence, I think it's awesome you're willing to share so openly. So what we're looking at is a fan page you created. You got your brand and you're gonna actually show us the page, the niche market you're going after, and this product that you had that was a big seller. So take it away, man. Tell us, uh, tell us what you got here. Yeah. So basically, this is um, this is like a couple's necklace, similar to like those heart pendants where they kind of connect together. But this is like for the honey niche, so to speak. This is a buck and a doe. So I kind of targeted um, husband and wives that were into hunting on Facebook. Got it. So the, the niche is hunting. That's your target audience. You're advertising this to, and you found basically a cool little product that was already done. You didn't have to create this, right? No, no, it was actually, I just took the pictures from the supplier and there they go. Okay, so you found one of these suppliers. You took the picture, you put it on a Facebook fan page, and it looks like it says, you'd be crazy to miss this biggest sale of the year. Um, tag your buck or doe. Now hunting people would know what that meant, right? Right, right, right. It's kind of like the, the lingo. They, they, they know what a, a buck is, you know, uh, the, the guy and then the doe is the female. So if, if you're into hunting, you might call your, your wife, you know, a buck or a doe. Got it. So um, awesome. And so basically you took the picture. Now you're driving traffic to this ad using Facebook ads targeting the hunting niche. That's those little $5 a day ads that we saw. And what you're doing is you're basically selling this. Um, how much are you selling this for? Yeah, so this particular necklace was selling it for like 30 bucks and um, the supplier is giving it to us for like, I think it's like $2. So, you know, the, the markup, you can see there's a $28 profit there. So you can kind of spend that money on ads. That's just crazy. That's awesome. Let's actually dive into that. Let's take a look at your Shopify store. If you're willing, is that something you're willing to share? Let's do it. Let's take a look Let's at your Shopify it. store and see some of the results of something like this. Let's do it. So Chris, here's the product page. Basically the customer lands on here. We have a nice product photo from the supplier, a description and the price. So you can see it's 30 bucks. They would add it to their order. Here's what an order looks like in the back office. As you can see, the customer paid $29.90 with the $5.95 shipping, which comes out to about $35.85. So as you can see, I mean, that's just kind of the basic overview of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Huge profit margins, obviously. Huge so profit margins. You're getting these products from a wholesaler. Can we go ahead and look at the wholesaler as well? Where yeah, yeah, from? sure. Um, so here we'll come to one of the suppliers that we deal with, and you can literally see the necklace here, okay? And it's a dollar eighty-three. A dollar eighty-three. Now that's for the product, but another price you're paying is shipping. Shipping. How much is shipping usually on something like this? Another dollar, two dollars? Yeah. So with um, this this specific supplier here, there's a couple different shipping methods to choose from. They have free shipping, which takes just too long, but they have something called e-packet, which is a dollar, or excuse me, two dollars and twenty-two cents. Awesome. And. So really, so you got $1.83 for the product, you got $2.21 for shipping, and that's your actual cost, that's your overhead. Yeah, that's it, that's the cost of the overhead, so you can see out the door to the customer is $4.04, .04. and if we jump back, 
Um, we're selling it for $35.85. So that's literally like a $31 profit. That's crazy, $31 profit on a pretty cool necklace and obviously you're getting a lot of traction on that post. That post on the, the Facebook page got a lot of activity as well. Yeah. And what kind of results did that create in your Shopify store? Can we go ahead and see your dashboard and see your stats? Yeah, so if we go to like our overall dashboard of our stats, you can literally see you know, every day we were getting sales, every day, nice. day in and day out. And you know, over the time period, we did over $60,000 in sales. Dude, that is awesome. That is awesome. You know what we should do? We should um, dive into the whiteboard. I've got a whiteboard here. Let's actually draw this out and show people exactly how they can do this. Let's explain what drop shipping is and these two types of offers. You down? Let's do Let's it. Let's do get it. the visual going. Let's do it. All right, so we just went over the shoulder with Lawrence Aponte on his laptop, and I'm about to go on the whiteboard, and we're gonna draw up what drop shipping is and the two types of offers that you could be promoting with your Shopify site. But before we did, I actually talked with Lawrence, and I said, you know, a lot of people probably couldn't see your screen clearly there. People are gonna be wondering more information. Would you be willing to do like a recorded case study of that King Camo site, like literally recording your screen and post it in the members area as soon as they join for free? Yeah, for sure. I'll break down all the ads and how I did it with $5 a day, show my, my ad copy and just break it down for everybody. Awesome, you guys, so listen, uh, Lawrence is willing to do this. As an extra bonus, when you join for free right now by clicking the link below this video, you're actually gonna get a case study of Lawrence Aponte showing you his Shopify store, showing you his Facebook page, showing you the posts that he made, showing you the ads that he ran to them, showing you the vendors of where he found the products and showing you how it all works together, literally hands on. You guys, people pay thousands of dollars for that kind of training. Lawrence was gracious enough to be able to offer that for free. So real quick, click the link below this video and join right now. You could always come back and watch this a hundred different times. Just join right now, lock up your spot. As soon as we get enough members involved in this free training, then what we'll do is we'll move it to the paid product section probably, I don't know, charge maybe 500 to $1,000 for all the value we're gonna be getting. So if you're seeing this video right now, that means you still have a chance to join for free. Absolutely do it and come back and watch this video as much as you want. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and take this to the whiteboard. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna actually draw up the concept of drop shipping. I apologize in advance if my drawing's crazy. The concept of drop shipping, and then let's talk about those two types of offers and let's just go ahead and teach them and fill them with as much value as we can. Let's dive in. Let's do it. a very basic diagram. Again, my drawing's a little crazy. I just wanted to explain it and uh, we'll chime in this together. So this is the concept of drop shipping. Okay. First thing is I want to tell you how basic retail business works and then I'll tell you how to fit yourself in there. So what's happening is these customers are shopping. They're sending money to these retailers. This represents a retailer. So they're sending their money to this retailer and what they're doing is that retailer is then sending the product right back to the customer, okay? So on Christmas, a lot of people are gonna go online, they're gonna spend money on sites, whether it's Amazon or whether it's your favorite site, whatever it is, and that company's gonna ship products back to the consumer. All we're doing is we're inserting ourselves into the middle of this process. So instead of this right here, so this dollars, watch this. We are actually just creating our own store, okay? We're creating our own store just like that. It's got our own products, same products as them, it's the same exact concept, okay? It's our own store. But what's happening is that this person here then becomes the wholesaler. This is the store that we get products from. We feature these on our site and we're marking them up. You see one dollar sign. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna mark these up a lot higher. Maybe two, three, four, five times higher. So we find a wholesaler. We put the products on our website. Now, the customers come and they pay us. We turn around and we pay the wholesaler. So they might pay us five, 10, 15, $20, we might pay the wholesaler just two or three or $4. The wholesaler ships the product on our behalf. This is called drop shipping. The customers are ordering from our site, then we're placing the order with the wholesaler and they're shipping the customer. So we do not have to have any inventory. We don't not need to have any handling, shipping, any of that kind of stuff. All we need to do is take pictures of products, put them on our website, and then all the money comes to us. The money comes directly to our bank account. So if $20 comes to us, we're taking $4 and sending it off to the vendor. So this is what you just explained with your King Camo site. This is exactly, so like, what's an example of a price that you might get a product over here and how you might mark it up? 
on yeah. their website. Yeah, so you can, uh, at the end of the day, it all comes down to perceived value, right? How much can you sell like this necklace for? Can you sell 20 or $30? So there's been plenty of times where I've taken two or $3 items and sell them for 20 or $30. That's kind of the retail model. Then there's also where the free plus shipping where you can actually get a product and give it away for free and just charge a premium shipping price. So let's do that. Let's actually, now that people understand the basic concept of how this drop shipping things work, we've shown them, we've drawn it up. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and drop the two types of offers that are most effective, the free plus shipping type, and let's talk about the retail price. Because there's going to be sometimes you're going to take a $2 pro product and mark it up to $20. There's going to be other times you're going to take a $2 product and give it away for free and just charge the customer for shipping and handling. Both of them work well. Let's just go into both products right now. Let's break it down. All right, so I've drawn up a lot of numbers up on the board. We're gonna walk through this. Um, here's what we're gonna do, Lawrence, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna break down free plus shipping, okay. and then I'm gonna break down the retail sales model, get some of your feedback, and you can kind of talk about the difference between each one and what maybe beginners and newbies should get started with. Sure. So, two types of offers. Let's start over here on the left side with free plus shipping. With free plus shipping, um, you're essentially giving away the product for free which is a huge incentive to people, they just pay for shipping and handling. It's a basic thing, right? Free plus shipping and handling. So the cost of your product, these are gonna be hypothetical numbers, and then if we have time, well, let's throw a real number in here, some yeah, real yeah, actual sure. stuff. Hypothetical numbers. The cost of your product, you're gonna to go to a wholesaler, let's say you find a product that would be good to give away for free, let's say it's $1.50, maybe it's a little necklace or something like that, it costs you $1.50 to be able to get that product. Then you're gonna have a cost of shipping. In order to ship it to the customer, you're probably gonna to need to pay another at least $1.50, maybe $2, right? In this case, $1.50 for the product, $1.50 for the shipping. That's $3. Then you have the cost of your advertising. We call these the three main costs, product, shipping, and advertising. The cost of advertising, it's unknown, it's different for everybody. Let's just say that it was $2, okay? Let's say you were paying $2 per customer that actually buys that product, okay? So for basically, what your goal is, your goal is to place Facebook ads and try to give away these products for free and somebody to make it all the way to the end of the cart where it's $9.95 shipping and handling, they pay that and then they get the product delivered. Again, if you're writing down notes, write down these three things, cost of product, shipping, and advertising. Altogether, in this example, that's $5. When you have all your overhead at $5 or less, especially even $6, you're in a really good opportunity for free plus shipping. That's kind of the margins you wanna be in. What you can do, your price you're selling to the customer is free, and then you're gonna set a shipping price. $9.95 shipping and handling is like the go-to price to set. So your overhead is $5, but it's $9.95 shipping and handling. So your markup is $4.95. So here's how it works with the free plus shipping model. You are collecting $9.95. You're collecting that full amount, and then you're turning around and you're giving the, the vendor $3.00. Okay, that's gonna be the product for the, the product and the shipping. And then you're giving Facebook $2. So out of that $9.95 you collect, $3 goes to the vendor, $2 goes to Facebook, you keep the rest. You keep the spread, the difference, which is $4.95. So it's very, very simple. You place an ad on Facebook, somebody purchases. They, you get $9.95 in your bank. $3 goes to the vendor, $2 goes to Facebook, $4.95 goes to you. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but with the free plus shipping model, it's so exciting, you can sell thousands of units of something. We have people that are selling a thousand units a week. Suddenly, $5 average per sale, suddenly $5,000 a week seems like a lot of money. Or even a thousand units in a month, $5,000 in a month is a great income. And keep in mind, that's profit after expenses, real money in your bank account. That's free plus shipping. Now, the second model here, Lawrence, is retail sales. With retail sales, you're doing the same exact thing but what's a little bit different is instead of doing free plus shipping, you're actually charging for the product. Now, less people will buy it, so you might have to pay a little bit more money to acquire a customer. In this example, you've got the same price of the product. The product doesn't change for you, whether you decide to retail it or give it away free. You got the same price of shipping. Nothing really changes. So your cost to the vendor is the same. You're just choosing to mark it up differently. Now, your cost of advertising might go up. When you're giving something away for free, advertising might be a lot less expensive. When you start charging, especially the more money you charge, the more it's gonna to take to acquire customers. So in this case, I doubled it. Instead of spending $2 in advertising, 
Maybe now you're spending $4 to acquire a customer. So your overhead, the total overhead you have is $7 on average for that product you're retailing. Now you got to decide how much to sell it for. So if it's costing you, let's say $7, your price, let's say you set a price of $22 as your price for that product, $22 product. And then you have shipping and handling. You can actually choose to sell this for $22 with free shipping, or you could even choose to add a shipping and handling charge. Most people expect there to be a shipping and handling charge. So they really don't even mind. So literally I just, we just snuck in a $3 shipping and handling charge. So you can literally charge $22, plus $3 shipping and handling. So your total price you're accepting from the customer is $25. You're getting $25 and out of that, $3 is going to the vendor, $4 is going to Facebook and you're keeping the difference. $25 minus $7 overhead equals $18 per sale. You are literally getting $18 per sale that you get to keep in commissions. That is fantastic, $18 per sale. Now. Over here, $4.95, roughly five per sale. And over here, $18 per sale. Two different models, two different approaches. Now here's the thing. You might think more profit is better, but there's not always. There's other things that go in here. That's why I wanna bring you in, Lawrence. You're an expert at this. You went from uh, you know, starting up your first store, placing your first $5 ads to several hundred thousand dollars in sales. Why don't we break this down? What do you recommend? Uh, what are some of your thoughts on the difference between these? And what do you recommend for beginners who are just looking to get started? Yeah, so when I first started, the only type of offers that I ran were free plus shipping. Generally because it, the advertising is very cheap, okay? And you can find a lot of these products on these supplier catalogs that you can literally give away for free and people will justify paying $9.95 for shipping. The only downside with free plus shipping is that you need a lot more volume to produce bigger numbers, but nonetheless, the model works perfectly. So once we um, started with free plus shipping, after about three, three months, 90 days, we did about $100,000 in sales. We actually replicated the same process, but instead of doing free plus shipping, we moved to the retail sales, and we actually did six figures in sales in half that time. Wow, wow. Now, there's a reason that happens and I think people really need to understand this. So you started here yes. and then you moved here. One of the things people don't understand, and I don't want to get too complicated, yeah. is that Facebook um, has something called a conversion pixel. Yes. It's a little pixel you put on your website and it reports data back to Facebook. Every time a customer purchases, Facebook gets smarter yes. with every single purchase. So what happened? How is it that you can start here and then you can maybe move to retail and Facebook smarter? How is that beneficial? Yeah, so like you were saying with the pixel, the pixel is all about data. So generally when you first start off, your pixel doesn't have any data, right? So in order to generate data, I did the free plus shipping and we generated a lot of it. So once Facebook knew how to acquire a customer and what I was looking for, once I moved over to the retail side, Facebook was easy um, to find them. Because that's what's called a matured pixel, yes. meaning that when you have thousands of orders from Facebook, when you move over here, Facebook already knows your exact type of customer. So exactly. like going back to your King Camel, that's the hunting niche, right? So you might try a bunch of stuff. Facebook might identify that people 18 to 24 really aren't buying your product much, but people, let's say 35 to 55 are. So Facebook gets smarter. Facebook starts going, people that watch this TV show are more likely to buy. People that liked this fan page are more likely to buy. They study the data and they start serving your ads more towards potential buyers. So instead of the millions of people out there, they're finding the people most likely to buy your product. So every sale that happens, Facebook gets smarter. And when they're able to tailor that, your ad cost can come down. Yeah, absolutely. Once Facebook knows what you're looking for, that ad cost is gonna drop dramatically. That's awesome, you guys. So listen, what Lawrence is recommending is start over here with free plus shipping, learn the ropes. Um, there's some downsides to it, but learn the ropes, get used to it, and then move over here to retail sales. Now, one thing I wanna talk about retail sales. This might look really glamorous right here, $18 per sale and profit, but that's assuming you're good enough to get a customer for only $4. You might need some experience. So here's the thing. If, if you're charging $25 and your overhead is $7, or let's even say your overhead is $3 here, right? That means you have $22 that you have in advertising to work with. So instead of spending $4 per customer, would it be worth it if you were spending $10 per customer? Let's say you were very, very new and a beginner. Even if you were spending $10 per customer, that's $6 more. Still, you're making $12 profit. So the retail model really allows you to do that. We think it's a powerful way. So here's what I want to do, Lawrence. 
Let's throw in some real numbers. These are just kind of theory numbers. Sure. Why don't we take your King, King Camo numbers and why don't we actually roll those in as real numbers to be able to show people the real cost of product, real cost of shipping, the average ads you were doing. Why don't we just go ahead and look at all that right now? In fact, I can yeah. actually... Let, let's break it down. Yeah, I'll erase so, these and put in real numbers. I actually, I, I know the cost and the shipping and, the, and my average customer acquisition. So you could just kind of plug them in and then we can just do the math and see exactly what's going on. Awesome, so let's do that. So let's basically take all these numbers and let's change all the numbers here and let's use a real example with actually um, Lawrence's real products right here. Cool. And let's do this one. So we're gonna just swap out the numbers. Now, what products are we discussing? Are we doing the... Um, yeah, let's, let's do with the buck and doe necklace, the one that I showed. The one that we already showed. Yes. Okay, so, and we'll make sure you guys can see this. The cost of the product for that buck and doe necklace to the vendor, what was the individual cost of that product? Yeah, so the cost was $1.83. Okay, one dollar and eighty-three cents. Okay, what was the cost of shipping um, using that e-packet shipping? Yeah, so shipping was two dollars and twenty cents. Two dollars and twenty cents. Okay, now on advertising, were you giving this one away? Was this a retail sale or was this a free plus shipping? So this is a retail item. Perfect. We're in the right category. So what was your average cost in Facebook ads that it took to acquire a customer? Yeah, so average customer acquisition was about five bucks. About five bucks. Yeah. And of course, it's going to be different. There's yeah, no way so to exactly. It, yeah, it could be a little higher, a little lower, but around five bucks was average. Okay, so around five dollars. So let's do the math. So what happens is your overhead total, you're counting all this up because that's automatically, this goes to the vendor and that goes to Facebook. So yes. five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars, right? There's eight dollars, nine dollars and three cents. Yes. Okay, and you know, I could just go, I could just round that off, but we'll just go ahead and do $9.03. So to be clear, he found a product that cost $1.83, shipping to the customer cost $2.20. Um, so right off the bat, that's like four bucks and three cents. And then on top of that, it's taking about $5 to acquire a customer. It ends up being about $9 in overhead that he has. So he has to sell the product for at least $9 to break even. Anything above $9, he can start making profit. So. What, what did you decide to sell the pr uh, product for? Like the, and, and the second question is, did you add shipping and handling on top yeah, of that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so when I was doing my product research, I kind of seen the um, similar items selling for 25 to 35. So I decided to be right in the middle and I went for 29.90. Okay, 29.90, 29.90. Now, one of the things about retail is that if, when you're in retail, if you charge $30 for something, um, that seems significantly more expensive than $29. And so what you could do is you can learn to do that. Just kind of take whatever figure you want to do, sell it for, drop it by like five cents. And that's why you'll always go into stores and something will be $9.95 because that seems significantly cheaper than $10, even though it's only five cents cheaper. That's why we use retail numbers. So $29.90 and then over here, how much in shipping and handling? And we charged $5.95 for shipping. $5.95. Okay, so let's look at the offer here. Lawrence has a product on his store he's charging $29.90 for. He's on top of that, he's charging an additional $5.95 shipping and handling. Now, my math might be a little bit off, so you might have to help me here, but it looks like we could round that up. Let's say that that was 30, uh, and let's say that that was six. That'd be $36 minus 15 cents. That would be $35.85. So your actual cost here is $35.85. Okay, $35.85. That's the actual price that you're collecting yes. from the customer. So when an order came in, $35.85 went directly to your bank account. Got came in, went directly to your account. Out of that $35.85, you've got at least $9 in overhead. Yeah. So now we gotta do the profit. We gotta figure out what your actual profit is. So $35 minus $9 is basically $26.85 minus three cents is 82 cents. So it's 26.82. So your profit was $26.82. Just like that, 26.82. So every single sale, you found a product for $1.83 and you're able to do it in a way that every single sale, you're making $26.82 profit. So even if your cost of advertising was double, even if it was costing you $10 per customer, still you would have you know, $21.82 profit. So you have this profit margin, it gives you a lot of money to work with in case there's any problems, in case there's anything right. like that. Now, were you able to sell, what, 10, 20 of these, 50 of them? Yeah, we ended up selling close to 1,000 of these, these specific necklaces. And um, yeah, it's great. So once, once you're, you know, your pixel gets the data, then the retail model becomes really easy. And I mean, you can see over almost $27 
profit per sale after product costs, shipping costs, and advertising. You guys, listen, I just want to focus on this. <laughs> Lawrence, as you saw in the beginning of this interview, is somebody who went from $7 an hour two and a half years ago to generating over $700,000 in e-commerce sales online. And right here, this is the math that he used. He showed you an example. When you join for free, you're going to actually get the case study. He's literally showing you an example of how he sold about a thousand units that had roughly a $27 profit margin, you guys. And that's how he's able to jump in there and show these stores that do massive volume, okay? That's how he's able to generate so much revenue. So it's not just about big screenshots of money made, it's also about profit. Now, yes. this system is something that we cannot guarantee you're gonna succeed with. It's not something that every single person just starts and has success with. But hopefully Lawrence's story has inspired you to at least check it out. People ask me all the time, Chris, how do you make money online? This is what I suggest you start with. I suggest you follow our system, set up your own store using our step-by-step -step system. We're gonna show you exactly how to set it all up. Start with free plus shipping offers and have retail products on your site. Because here's the part that's crazy. We showed these numbers. There's a few things that are gonna happen that are better than this. For example, when you give away a product for free, do, do the customer only get one product or do sometimes they order two or more products for free? Yeah, so you will get those customers that just want one off product, but then you'll get those that want two, three, or even four products. So generally, you know, shipping would go up for each product that they would get. So that average cart value is gonna continue rising. Yeah, so what he's saying is that if you're giving away a product for free, what you might do is you might say limit four per customer. Now what's happening is this same customer is getting four of that product for free, but you're charging them shipping and handling on each one. Okay, so if your shipping and handling goes up every single one, your profit goes up in that exact customer. So that exact customer is now worth more money to you. Your advertising cost was the same, but you just made more money. So you're gonna have ways to make more money. Another thing that's gonna happen is after they do free plus shipping, you can actually retarget that customer on Facebook and you could say, hey, we just added a bunch of new products to our store, come on back and buy again. And now you're able to remarket to them on Facebook and now the average customer value might go up and up and up. This is just the starting point, you guys. We have seen people that have started in their first month be able to get to $1,000 a day with their online store. We've seen people that have done over $100,000 in their first 100 days. This is real income generated by real people in our community. And, here, and we look forward to going on this journey with you, helping you set up your own successful e-commerce business, working from home or working from your laptop anywhere in the world where there's internet access. Let's make this thing happen and we look forward to hearing your testimonials.